Muffalo. Quiet, I'm an Avenger. Muffalo. Shh. I'm, I'm, I'm an Avenger. I'm Muffalo Man. Muffalo, it's, uh, it's time to draw with everybody. Oh, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hi, everybody, how you doing? It's me, John, and him. Muffalo. Yep, and uh, today we've got a very special Avengers episode. You know uh, we've drawn the Hulk. Uh, if you go back in our video list on YouTube, you'll see how to draw the Hulk. You'll see how to draw Captain America. Last week we did how to draw Iron Man using nothing but letters, uh, numbers and letters. I got a request in from uh, Nippon. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. And uh, he wrote in and asked me if uh, we could do Thor from the Avengers. And uh, it's not gonna be easy, but I, I'm confident that we can do this together. I, I stayed up late last night and figured it out. He sure did. Yep, and uh, I think I can show you guys how to draw Thor using nothing but numbers and letters. So you need three things. You need a pen, you need a piece of paper, and you need to watch me, okay? Okay, let's do it. Yep, good luck everybody. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of little steps, but I think I'm pretty sure we can figure out how to draw uh, Marvel superhero Thor from the Avengers. I'm gonna give him the nice winged steel uh, helmet from the comic book. And uh, well, without further ado, let's give it a shot, huh? Okay, so the first thing you wanna draw is you wanna start up here at the top of the page and we're going to do a small lowercase n. N is in Nancy. N as in Nancy. Just a little bit to the left of the center, right up here, okay? Watch me first, lowercase n, just like this. Okay, there's our lowercase n, super easy. And that's Thor, thanks for joining in, kids. We'll see you tomorrow. John! All right, I'm kidding. Lowercase n, right there. Next thing we're gonna do is a thin capital D, and I want the D to be three times as tall and as long as the n. Watch me first, okay? So we start right here where the n is, we go straight down, and then it's not too big, it's sort of a thin uh, D, capital D, thin capital D, I'm babbling today. Thin capital D, right next to our lowercase n, so that at the same level at the top, just like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now I want you to draw a couple pointy capital M's, very thin, kind of leaning at an angle this way and kind of coming around here a little bit, okay? They're just two pointy capital M's. Uh, and they're, oh, I don't know, about two letter N's away. They start right here, okay? And it, don't make them big, but, but make sure they're pretty much on the same level as this uh, N, okay? So we'll do one M like this and another M like that. Two capital M's at an angle right there. What is that? Just remember, take your time, it's the Muffalo Potato Way. It all will be revealed, just keep drawing along. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just needs to be fun. It's okay if yours doesn't turn out looking exactly like mine. I'm not even sure this is gonna turn out, but I'm gonna have fun trying, okay? Okay. All right. Way to instill confidence in everybody. Thanks, Muffalo. <laughs> okay, moving on, guys. Just to the right of our thin D, and starting right where that N ends, we're going to do a small lowercase u, not very large at all, just like this. Down and back up again. Very small lowercase u. Kind of looks like a C lying on its back. Yeah, it could be a C lying on its back. That's, that's actually a pretty good explanation. Um, that could also be true, Muffalo. So there we are, we've got our lowercase c. Now, again, following that invisible line that goes across, leave about a finger's worth of space. We need a, we need a, a blank space right about here, and we're gonna start here with a lowercase r. Same size, roughly, as the n, okay? So give yourself a little bit of space, and just nice and easy, do a lowercase r, just like that. Looks weird. Yeah, I don't even know what it, what it's spelling, but uh, believe me, it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. I believe it's gonna work. So just draw your lowercase r right there. And while you're working on that, let me remind you that uh, you're watching Buffalo Potato on YouTube. We are li drawing live 
uh, every day, this and every week, as long as you're stuck in the house and I'm stuck in the house, we're gonna be drawing all the time, okay? So be sure to subscribe uh, to our channel. Uh, you'll get Muffalo Potato five days a week. Isn't that fun? That just goes on and off just like that. Or also write to me, john at buffalopotato.com. Ask your parents permission first. Send me your artwork and send me your requests. Um, we love to uh, read your letters uh, and see all the beautiful drawings. We have another uh, fan art episode coming up tomorrow. Okay, moving on. Uh, right uh, beneath this uh, R and at a little bit of an angle, we're gonna do a slightly smaller version of this D. Still a skinny D, but a little bit at this angle, okay? Just a little bit off, leaning to the left a little bit. Not too, 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 too big, okay? Just another capital D. Smaller than that D at a slight angle, just like that. John, this is really, really looking weird. I'm telling you, it's Thor from the Avengers. Just stick with me. Everyone with me so far? We got our pointy M's, we got our N, we got a skinny capital D, small U, lowercase r, a D beneath that. Now, what do we do on Muffalo Potato? We draw. What else do we do, Muffalo? We turn the page. We turn the page. Let's turn the page this way. So all our artwork is now on the right side of the page. And now we are going to do the number seven. It's going to start right here, right around the same line where your U ends. It's gonna go out and it's gonna come back and it's gonna touch that break right there in the R. Watch me first, okay? So I'm gonna go out, 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 out like that. And then I'm gonna come straight back and touch that R right there. It's the number seven. Do you see that? Number seven. Number seven. Yep, number seven right there. And now we're gonna do a really big number. How big? Really big. We're gonna do the number two. It needs to be roughly as big. It's gonna start right here, sort of in the middle of the page. It's gonna come down, down, down. We're not gonna go past the top part of that D. We're gonna try to get as close as we can to the D, come back around, and then we're gonna go straight across and go a little bit past the tip of that R, okay? It's a big number. Don't be nervous, we're just drawing the number two, okay? I'm gonna start a little bit below the D here, up so that my, my uh, top point of the D is not lower than that part of, uh, let me try that again. This time I'm gonna speak English. Uh, we're gonna put our pen here, we're gonna bring that D up, we won't go past the top of the D. We're gonna come around with our two, stop here, and then draw our two all the way across a little bit past that R, okay? Oh, wish me luck, everybody. Here we go. Okay, up, 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 up. I'm not going past it. I'm going around, around, and back again. There's that part of the two, and now I'm gonna go straight across, and a little bit past that R, just like that. There's my number two. My number two, long tail going straight across. I hope that shape worked out for everybody. Me too, because that looks crazy. All right, it was a little crazy. So there's our two. Goes around and back again, just a little bit past that R. Now I want you to turn your page a little bit at a diagonal like this. So that two is coming down and pointing right at you. See that? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do some skinny, skinny, skinny long W's. Okay, this is gonna be the wing of Thor's magic helmet, okay? So it's, it's, uh, it's a bunch of really long, thin Ws, uh, and have fun with it. Don't be too nervous about this one, because it, he sort of has a winged helmet, um, and, uh, and this is how we do it. We're gonna start here so that I can make that W long, and I wanna bring that W back so it touches this part of the two seamlessly and continues in this direction, okay? So I'm just gonna come back here a little bit, and I'm gonna go down and back, it's just a W, and down I'll go a little bit further, and I'm gonna come all the way straight back, carefully, 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 and touch that two right there, okay? It's a skinny, skinny W. I'm gonna do one more W, much smaller, same angle, right next to it. Again, I'm trying to make the second part of the W longer than the first part of the W. See how it's sort of like a W at an angle? 
And I'm gonna add one more smaller W inside here so that the W touches this area, just like this. W, W, just like that. See that? So I've drawn three skinny, I call them lowercase Ws because they don't have the point at the end, okay? So what we're doing is we're making that wing that goes on Thor's helmet. So far, so good? So far, so good. All right. Now, here comes another big turning move. Everybody ready? Turn your page so that it now looks like this and all our work is now at the bottom. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Let us do a skinny capital A right here, okay? It's gonna start here. We're just gonna go straight down here and straight down here. And we're gonna make that crossbar very, very low. All right, so it's a very low crossbar right there. Capital A. You see where I put it? I think I know what you're doing. Oh yeah? I think I see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, I think we're gonna, I think it's gonna work. I have a really good feeling about this one. So there's our capital A. And now inside that capital A, I want you to draw a teeny, teeny, teeny capital T. Really small. Make the crossbar of the T go across here and then it comes down right in the middle, sort of splitting that. You see that? Got it? It's a really, really small capital T inside your skinny capital A. I like the Avengers movies. Me too. I, I think Thor's cool. Yeah, Thor is cool. He's got that cool hammer. Yeah, he's got that cool hammer and he, um, he says, he commands thunder and lightning. He does command thunder and lightning. That's very, I see you were paying attention when you were watching it. Yeah, he's, he's all right. Okay, all right. Moving on, guys. Let's keep going here. I want to draw a very, very long capital L. It's going to start right about here. It's going to come all the way down to here, and then it's going to go come across and close off this shape. We're just making a long rectangular bar, capital L. Put your pen here. Don't be nervous, remember, doesn't need to be perfect, just needs to be fun, and go straight across. Long capital L, just like that. Pretty cool. Yep, yep, we're getting close. Actually, there's not much more to go, surprisingly enough. Okay, uh, do something for me real quick. See the right part of, the, of the, that area right there where the capital T is? I just want you to color that in black real quick, just like this, okay? Not the side to the left, just the side to the right. Whew, oh, let's do one more thing real quick. Let's put a teeny, teeny C, very small, right here. It's a thin C, just like this, okay? Thin C. Right there. Oh boy, here comes some excitement right now. You ready? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little, a little cough. John. I know, very unprofessional. Um, we're gonna move a little bit at an angle. We're just gonna turn this a little bit of diagonal because what we need to draw is we need to draw a C. And it's gonna start here, it's gonna come up and go around, and it's gonna end here. Now, it's gotta be a big enough of a C so that it feels like a helmet. If it's too thin, it's gonna give Thor a flat head. And if it's too big, it's gonna give him a real pointy head. So let's sort of figure out what the best C shape is here. Looks like, to me, it comes out around here, it comes around and closes off, okay? Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just needs to be fun. Uh, we're just, we're doing the best we can, we're just having fun drawing. I'm gonna give it a shot right here, let's see if that's a nice enough C. What do you think? Not too bad, huh? I think that works. I think so too. All right, so it's just the C. It makes the top part of his helmet again, okay? And, and look, if it's a little low, you can go over it and make it a little taller if you want, like this. Sometimes I draw and I'm like, oh, that didn't look good. So maybe I'll draw a little bit bigger like this and then close off the shape like that. And that's fine too. That still makes a cool helmet at the end of the day, all right? Everybody ready? I think so. Okay, we are gonna turn the page. Straight up and down. Oh no, it's looking pretty good. I think we're getting close, Muffalo. Yeah, we're almost done with Thor. All right. Very, very cool. 
See, it's kind of working. It's sort of working out in our favor here. Let's do a couple things here. Let's draw the number one coming down from here to here to that wing, straight down like this. We're gonna do the letter J at an angle, and we're gonna put that J, oh, right around here, because now we know what that D is. It's his mustache. That's right, it's his mustache. So we're gonna put a J at an angle, coming down like this, around, and then touching the end, the end of the end right here, okay? So we're gonna go down, 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 curve around and back up again, okay? Is that on his lower lip? Yeah, it's become his lower lip. Yeah, I get it. Okay, I'm glad you get it. And we're gonna do uh, an R, lowercase r, coming up here at an angle too. Not a very big R too, just up and then bring it over. Just like that, okay? All right. All right. Now the next step is a lot of fun. We're just gonna do a bunch of loose, big J's, letter J's. We're gonna come down, sort of where the one continues here, and we're just gonna bring it out and over like this, and we're gonna keep bringing some J's over and over and over and over like this. But before we do that, I forgot something. I gotta close off the wing with a number three, a nice easy three, around, around, just to close off that wing shape right there. Sorry about that. Totally forgot. We're doing it live. We're making it up as we go along. You funny, John. Yeah, well, I'm working on it. Okay, here we go. Let's do some J's. First J comes down, 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 and around like that. Second J started here. Down, 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 and around like that. Touch the first J. Third J. Down, down, down. I'll bring it back a little bit and curl around there a little bit. Why not? Fourth J, down, 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 and around. And maybe we'll do another J here, and then maybe a nice big one here, coming around. They're nice, loose, free-flowing J's, and then maybe one final J coming back this way and around like that. Pretty cool, huh? All right, just a couple of finishing steps and then we're finished. Uh, we need to sort of give him a jaw here and that's uh, pretty much as easy as just drawing a lowercase r, just like that. See where I put the lowercase r? And then if you want to give like an indication of maybe his shoulder and his cape, uh, you could just follow along your J's real quick and just do a couple really thin C's sort of flowing out like this. Nothing, nothing too crazy right there, okay? Turn your page uh, back, straight, up and down. Let's take a good look at it and do me a favor, ring the bell and give yourself a round of applause because you have figured out how to draw four by using nothing but numbers and letters. It's the Muffalo Potato Way. What do you think, guys? John, I think that turned out pretty cool. Yeah, it did, look. I think, I think he belongs right at home with the rest of his guys. Look, there he is talking to Iron Man. Uh, how are you, Iron Man? Uh, I, I'm good, how are you? Good. Um, where's Hulk? And then Hulk's like, me Hulk, me smash. And then Captain America's like, uh, I'm um, Captain America and I like red, white, and blue. John, that wasn't really funny. I know, I'm just sort of making it up. Okay, here comes the fun part, kids. Here comes the part where we get to color in Thor. Um, so we get to have fun with our crayons. Well, I hope you had fun uh, drawing Thor with me. I, I hope yours turned out well. Be sure to send it in to me, John at MuffaloPotato.com. Ask your parents permission first, um, of course, because that's the way we like to do it here. And send me a picture of Thor. Let me, let me see how it turned out for you. Let me know um, how, how you did. And, uh, uh, and then uh, maybe I'll post it up on the show, which will be uh, really cool. We're going to do a, another fan episode tomorrow. Gotta get my daughter to come and help us out. She's fun. Yep. She eats all my Thin Mints. Oh yeah? Yeah. Okay. So uh, Thor's got that blonde beard and blonde hair because he is the Norse god of thunder and lightning and justice, I guess. So I'm just gonna color in uh, his hair real quick with uh, this nice yellow color. Uh, he's got a lot of hair. Yeah, he got his hair cut off for that um, that movie Ragnarok. Remember, he had a nice short haircut. Yeah. 
and then it grew back out again for, was it Endgame, was it? Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Okay, so there we go. We got that, and we got his base, and his helmet's usually steel, so I'm going to use um, gray and blue, I guess. So so I, I made a, a an adjustment to the line here, so I'll color that in a little bit. And maybe I'll color this part gray. And maybe I'll color this part gray a little bit, just like this. And then this part here, and then maybe we'll just add like a little bit of blue here to give an indication of metallic color. That's a nice shiny helmet, huh? That's pretty cool. Yeah, and then he's got a, I think he's got a red kind of cape. So I'll do uh, some red colors right here. Well, I can't believe um, the fantastic uh, job you guys have been doing. I'm so glad that you're joining me every day and coloring with me and, uh, and drawing the Muffalo Potato Way. You know what the Muffalo Potato Way, it's just drawing nice and easy with numbers and letters. We're just using a few tricks to make it easy, to make artwork fast. Uh, as you get better and better at this, uh, you'll be drawing without numbers and letters. But until that time comes, uh, what a great way to kind of make a drawing nice and fast. Maybe you're drawing right before you're doing homework or maybe you're taking a break from homework or maybe you're not even thinking about homework. But um, yeah, this is Muffalo Potato. Drawing with nothing but numbers and letters. Kind of fun, huh? All right, so he's got that big, strong lower lip there that he's got. That's cool. What do you think, Muffalo? I think you did a good job. I think we did too. That was super duper fun. Boys and girls, moms and dads, teachers and students, thank you so much for joining me again. I'm John. I'm Muffalo. And we have one more show tomorrow before the week's out. Uh, then we're going to have a nice old weekend, and then we're going to do it again. Muffalo Potato, five days a week. What do we say, Muffalo? We say it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be fun. That's right, buddy. <laughs> All right, have fun. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye, Thor. -bye. Bye,